User Management in Wide Stage. In the main menu, go to Administration, Users. If you just installed Wide Stage, you will notice that there is already one user on your list. This user is the one that was created when setting up the Wide Stage server for the first time, is also called the Super Admin. The Super Admin can T be removed or modified, as this is the top level server administrative user for Wide Stage. To add new users, you have two options invite a user using his email, or setting up manually the user. To invite a new user, just click over the Invite User button at the top. An emerging invitation pop-up window will appear. The message subject and message body fields will be pre-filled, but you can change those accordingly. Type the email of the user you want to invite. Update the subject if you want and change the message body if you think you need it. Take care about the pre-existing tags, like the accept URL, and the link click here to accept the invitation, as those will be replaced by your server URL and invitation ID later at server level. When ready, just click the invite button to send the invite. Your new user will just appear in your users lists. Notice the waiting confirmation status of your new user, this status will remain until the user accepts your invitation. To add new users manually, just click over the new user button at the top. Insert the user's email address, Wide Stage only uses email addresses to identify users, therefore, the email address has to be unique, and is also required when creating a new user. Optionally, insert other data to better identify your users. If you don't have roles defined yet, you can assign roles to this user later. By default, the send random password through email will be selected. If you leave this selected, then, WideStage will assign a random password for this new user, and will send that password, using the email address provided earlier. When ready, just click over the save button, and your new user will be created. In this case the user status will be active, as no user confirmation is required. Let's create another user. In this case, instead of sending a random password, we will introduce the password for this user manually. Confirm the password twice, and click save when you are ready. In this case no email with the password will be sent to the new user, and therefore is the administrator's responsibility, to provide that password to the new user. Clicking over the status badge, you will be able to change the user's status, activate or deactivate the user depending on your needs. Finally, click over the edit button, if you need to modify the roles or any other information, except the email address, for a particular user. Thanks for watching this tutorial, if you need more info or additional help, go to widestitch.com.